Hi, and welcome to the DBS View. Global financial markets have entered a more dangerous phase. Despite all the money that's been printed so far, global economic growth has continued to slow. Yet, asset prices have been rallying because the new money had to find a home. This makes for a risky phase in the financial markets. From an asset allocation perspective, with neutral equities, underweight bonds, overweight alternatives, and overweight cash. In the equity space, we have been more cautious. Yes, the recent rebound could last for a little longer, but longer term, we expect more volatility and bias on the downside. These markets are likely to be more suited for nimble traders rather than traditional buy and hold investors. In the US, we are neutral. We see weaker earnings and expensive valuations here. The S&P 500 only offers about 5% earnings growth this year, yet trades about 17 times for a PE. This is hardly attractive earnings growth for a market tra trading at such an elevated valuation multiple. On the Shiller PE, the US market is now trading at levels similar to 2007. Yet this comes at a time when profit margins have peaked and are likely to fall from here. Japanese and European equities look slightly better than the US peers because it's still enjoying more generous monetary policies courtesy of the ongoing QE. But this is only relative. Keep in mind that they're still enjoying the support of central bank asset buying only because the economies are still troubled, despite years of cheap and plentiful liquidity. In Asia-Pacific X Japan, companies are still suffering from earnings recession. Even though valuations are now more attractive after the recent correction, the Chinese economic slowdown looks set to continue despite the many rounds of stimulus. The economy will be weighed down by difficulty in boosting fixed asset investment growth without aggravating economic problems with poor quality credit. Further, household consumption is unable to grow fast enough to maintain economic expansion at a time of slowing investment growth. Undoubtedly, Chinese equity valuations have been beaten down. It's largely trading at the bottom end of its 10-year historical valuation range and close to 2008 lows. We could see a short-term valuation bounce here. But the question is whether these gains are sustainable in the longer run in light of the slowing economy and earnings recession in China. Over to bonds. We are underweight bonds given the reach valuations and unattractive yield spreads. At the global level, downside pressure on bonds comes from the imminent end of zero interest rates in the US. While there may be some protection in government bonds, there are still very few safe harbors for investors in corporate credits. Conventional wisdom in a market like this is to switch to higher credit quality and shorten duration. In the commodity space, the base building we had expected for commodity prices has not played out. Technically, while the selling is very advanced, there's still no sign of a sustainable rebound. We are 12 months neutral on commodities. Last but not least, we think we're in the late stage of the US dollar bull cycle. The easy money has already been made, but we think there's still upside for the US dollar, especially against emerging markets and Asian currencies. Against the majors like the euro and the yen, US dollar will likely be range bound. Thank you for watching the DBS View.